so <clears throat> welcome back to the class students so today we are going to study the part 2 of your chapter the making of the national moment this is chapter 9 of your history textbook so today we are going to discuss the impact of the first world war in the national moment of india so the, we, we, you know that the first world war was fought between 1914 and 1919 and mostly in, by the European countries. But since they had colonies, so uh, the whole world was affected. So after the, uh, 1919, this <coughs> struggle against British rule gradually became a mass movement. That means the, by the end of the first world war involving uh, that involved peasants tribals students and women in large numbers and occasionally factory workers as well so <clears throat> the first world war altered the economic condition of the uh, british india so uh, let's see what happened that uh, first the sudden rise in the defense expenditure the first world war brought a sudden rise in the defense expenditure of government of india and government in turn increase the taxes on the individual incomes and the business profits increased military expenditure and demands for war su supplies led to a sharp rise in the price of uh, which price which created great difficulties for the common people <coughs> uh, and ironically uh, a few business groups have profited from the war because they they manufactured vehicles manufactured steel and iron and and which were needed for the war so they uh, and they were benefited so <coughs> uh, uh, and the russian revolution of 1917 which is also known as the october revolution so uh, many indians were inspired from that uh, that revolution the russian revolution and tried to uh, <coughs> do that uh, in india as well so you said see that there are many in, in influences of the first world war in india and finally the mahatma gandhi arrived uh, from south africa in 1915 he went to south africa to study uh, law means to be, uh, to, to be a barrister uh, as it was called in that time <coughs> so next let's see what happened the role of Swetagraha. okay in 1990, <coughs> uh, <coughs> Gandhiji gave a call for Satyagra, means non-violent protest against uh, the Rollout Act. So, what was this act? This act carved many fundamental rights from Indians and uh, like uh, freedom of uh, freedom of expression and freedom of press, etc. And it also strengthened the power of the police. So, the Mahatma Gandhi, Mohammed Ali Zinna, you know that he was the leader of Muslim League which was formed in Dhaka in 1906. Uh, Mohamed Ali and many others felt that government had no right to restrict the people's basic freedoms. So they criticized the act and uh, protested against it non-violently. Hmm. <coughs> uh gandhi organized hotels bonds and in many areas and uh, you you might have known about the zalianbala bag massacre the zalianbala bag massacre is a place in uh, uh, zalianbala bag is a place in punjab so there <coughs> uh, the <coughs> massacre was carried out uh, um, Uh, at the order of, of a British admiral so <coughs> uh, actually uh, the, the, the protesters were not uh, allowed uh, to <coughs> to enter the Zalianbala bag area so uh, when they uh, entered they closed the gate the British police they closed the gate and opened fire so it is actually said that uh, <coughs> the, the Zalianbala Bagh massacre triggered a uh, triggered a blow in the heart of most of the Indians. So um, <coughs> it it, uh, it created anger, frustration throughout the country and hatred for the British rule. 
so and by the end of this roller chapter it set the background for the khilafat movement khilafat movement as well as the non cooperation movement you see that the uh, protests are actually interconnected first the british brought the roll attack the gandhi ji and others protested against it so they protested uh, in the form of uh, roller chatyagraha and uh, roller chatyagraha was uh, uh, was of uh, surprise and one of uh, one of the such incident was the zabianwala massacre who spread the way for khilafat movement and the khilafat movement in turn also paved the way for non cooperation movement so you see that they are uh, very interconnected in response to zalianwala bang mass atrocity or massacre <coughs> it was at the order of a general uh, admiral name general dyer okay in uh, <coughs> on on in response to that this massacre uh, kobi guru robindranath tagore expresses pain and anger of the country and he renounced uh, sorry so uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, robindranath tagore renounced the knighthood which was given to him by the british british government so uh, you see that after the advent of gandhi in 1915 many things changed in india so <coughs> mahatma gandhi came from south africa and he ha- he he was already learned in the strategies of protest and he wanted to uh, connect means he un- wanted a united protest of the hindus muslims parsis christians gujaratis tamils telugus Assamese, Bengali, and everyone. He wanted a, a unified protest against the British because he knew, as he had seen in South Africa, that without a unified protest, uh, the uh, overthrowing the British rule from India would be nearly impossible. <coughs> so he, in 19, 1895, along with other Indians, a few of them from South Africa, Mahatma Gandhi established the. and natal congress or natal congress to fight the racial discrimination in south africa <coughs> uh, he is standing at the center uh, of the uh, national movement since then since his arrival uh, to india from uh, in 19, 1915 so uh, here you can see a representational image and this is not actual image it, it is a representational for your understanding of zalianwala massacre see how the british police fi- open fire at the protesters without any mercy and official uh, sources claim that around 350 people were killed but uh, congress at that time claimed that the uh, the actual numbers go as high as 1000 means that the british downplayed the casualties of this uh, atrocity or massacre so then now see let's how <coughs> uh, khilafat movement and non cooperation movement unfolded in india so the khilafat movement was in response to uh, the british british uh, harsh treatment of the ottoman king so you know that uh, you must have known that uh, the uh, ottoman king the ottoman empire was one of the biggest empire during the first half of the, half of the 19th century so uh, it fought against the british uh, and with the uh, with the germans in the first world war so when the uh, ottoman empire was defeated after the first world war so uh, the the um, emperor had to give up his claim of the holy places of islam earlier the uh, mecca medina and all these places were under ottoman empire control uh, and also jerusalem which is now in shared by israel and palestine okay so uh, the muslims in india wanted that the uh, uh, khalifa or the emperor the emperor was called khalifa in the ottoman empire the khalifa should be given the uh, power to retain control of the uh, holy places of islam 
so they opined that but the british were against that so they <coughs> many such as Muhammad Ali and Sokot Ali and, and many, uh, many call for a complete non-cooperation means complete non-cooperation means no connection hmm, no connection with the british and Mahatma Gandhi saw a, a opportunity to uh, utilize this protest and he also supported Khilafat movement and he uh, he declared a non-cooperation movement and it gained peak in uh, 1920 to 2021 so we will study what were the major events of the uh, uh, Khilafat movement and non-cooperation movement in the next class and I hope that un uh, uh, until here everyone is clear for you all so if you have any doubt you can feel free to ask and uh, and let me give you a homework as well so if you were present uh, uh, present in and around this around the Zalianbala bag during the time of Zalianbala massacre how would you have responded to the massacre so uh, uh, would you have written uh, poetry or protest to literature or would you have protested by coming to streets and organizing groups so anything you can imagine you can write and and i will see that in next class along uh, and also give out the details of non-cooperation moment and kill up on moment uh, until then thank you and have a nice day